Welcome back. Well, I've got the suspension done now, finally getting on to building the exhaust manifold. Uh, as you can see here, there's obviously four ports and not much room. But when I did build the front end, I made enough room where I think I can fit everything through there. So there's the original pipes off the GSX 400. Um, my plan is to go on each side two into one, and then on each side, a couple of bends out through the frame and heading towards the back. And then later on, I'll build uh, the rest of the system, which will be pretty much two pipes through the back and two mufflers sticking out the back of the mower. So you can just see there on the right hand side, that's where I want to go around and then have that pipe sticking out towards the back. So just starting off here, just uh, mark it up. Uh, it is very tight, needs to be quite accurate. And uh, just going to scallop these two pipes and TIG them up. So it'll go two to one at that point and then one through the frame. So just cutting this, you actually notice that um, Suzuki have made these pipes, so they're actually a pipe in a pipe or a tube in a tube, just at the front half of the manifold. I'm not 100% sure why they do that, but it is what it is, and uh, I wanted to keep that front section, so I'll just leave it like that. And uh, certainly would reduce some of the heat, but I'm not sure if it's heat or sound or what the reason is. So just doing a bit of filing here, you can get a bit of an idea. What I'm trying to do is get two into one there and then uh, the single pipe will just fit on top of that. Uh, the bend was not quite right, so just here I'm just changing the angle of this by about five degrees, so I, you can see it's quite hot, but I didn't want the pipe to kink, and it is a pipe in a pipe, which makes it a bit harder to bend. Uh, so just got that right there, you can see here it's getting close, where I'm gonna start welding this up. Um, obviously the first step is that two into one and here it is tacked and you can see the bottom I, I tidied that up a bit before I welded it so I actually joined that center pipe as well and you can get an idea here of the tube that's going to feed out from that so just making a few more cuts here these are the two extra bends that are going to go through the frame uh, the last pipe will just be uh, pretty much that end where the rear of the exhaust I'll expand out so it just flips over it. I'll have to do two sections like that otherwise I won't be able to get this exhaust system apart again. So there's pretty much a finished look of um, the left hand side. Uh, two into one, couple of bends and then it's going to go out the back. I'll just fully weld that up and that's pretty much done pretty happy with that actually. So I'll just repeat the process and do the same thing on the right hand side but in reverse. So again just cutting these, uh, try to get angles the same. What I'm also trying to do is I've got a gap between the two manifolds or the, the left and the right because I need to keep room uh, for the steering and also I need to make sure I can get the oil filter out of the engine because I don't want to be messing about having to take the exhaust manifold off each time. Yes, yeah, so you can see here's the uh, right hand side. It's actually coming up pretty good, it's very close. So I'm just about to uh, tack that into position. It's important too when you tack these, as you tack, the metal expands and shrinks down again and it generally changes the angle a little bit. So I always put three or four good tacks and then check the alignment, make sure it's all right before I go locking it in. Uh, so there's that tack. And um, yeah, I just repeated the process. And you can see there, uh, with that, with the, with the right hand side, I actually cut that top bit a bit too high, which meant uh, this bottom piece, to correct that error, I made it a bit longer, and I just had to flare it out a little bit uh, so that it fit properly. So just doing that there, it's no big deal. It's just a bit more work, I suppose. Um, so there's the right hand side is bolted in, here's the left hand side, you can just see how it goes around there, all fits in real nice, I put the exhaust washers in, tightened it up and that exhaust manifold is pretty much done. So uh, the other thing I did is I've built a jack shaft, um, I wasn't sure how to 
what design I was going to do, but in the end, uh, I've uh, made the jack shaft so it goes from the motorbike engine to a one inch shaft. Um, and then a second sprocket is going to then go from the front out to the back gearbox, which uh, is pretty much the next job. So this is one of the brackets. I just welded a nut in here so I could uh, bolt it in properly. I've got adjustment through adjustable bearings, which you'll see in a moment. Uh, it's mega strong, so this jack shaft isn't going to break any time soon. Uh, you get a quick look at it here. So there you go engine to the sprocket on the left there and then the second sprocket which I'm turning will drive the gearbox so looking at it the other way now the sprocket on the left is the one that's going to go towards the back stay tuned <laughs> 